Bitcoin has recently dropped to $68,000 from its high a little over $73,000. What advice would I tell myself if I was from the future? Don't get suckered into selling your Bitcoin. The ETFs and smart money want you to give away your Bitcoin for under 70 k There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin created with a good percentage of those already being lost forever. Now, are you going to look back at this moment and remember how dumb you were to think that Bitcoin isn't going to all time highs again? I started researching where the hell all the Bitcoin are and who owns what. BitcoinTreasuries.com is a great source to do this, but I had to take a second look when I saw how much Bitcoin is in ETFs today. The news today only talks about what the US ETFs have, but there are now over 1 million Bitcoin in ETFs worldwide. That's right, 1 effing million Bitcoin. Excuse my words, but holy shit. Here are the actual numbers and the breakdown of how many Bitcoin are in each ETF, according to Bitcoin Treasuries. So the official number is 1,010,217 Bitcoin. The largest ETF is still GBTC, and they hold 380,240 Bitcoin. BlackRock's iBit ETF has 228,000. Fidelity's FBTC has 132,000. CoinShares, who also recently bought Valkyrie's Bitcoin ETF, has 48,000. And ARK's ARKB has just under 40,000. Other notable Bitcoin ETFs with over 10,000 Bitcoin are Bitwise's BitB, Purpose's BTCC, 3IQ CoinShares BTCQ, ETC Group's BTCE, 3IQ The Bitcoin Funds, QBTCBB, and Bitwise 10 Crypto's BITW. I mean, can you believe that 5% of all Bitcoin ever created are in Bitcoin ETFs already? What's going to happen when all financial advisors are given the okay to recommend Bitcoin ETFs? What about when all retirement funds have an allocation to Bitcoin ETFs? The future is bright for Bitcoin, so if you need to sell, then sell, and don't ever look back on your decision. But if you don't have to sell, then don't. I don't want you to just gift your Bitcoin to the big guys. Hoddle on, hoddle on.